Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be doing some Lego shopping. The Lego City needs some things, and I know exactly where to find them. At stores that sell Lego conveniently. It's a good thing. I, uh, I'm excited to head out on the road today, and also, Jose is joining us. So yeah, it should be a fun time. Our first stop is... Southgate. The Lego store, that means. Yes. And the coffee store. Coffee. Coffee and Lego. Yes. Two great creations. I'm more excited about the coffee. Are you? Yeah. She needs coffee. I need she, coffee. No sleep last night. Brutal morning. But we're really happy to be out today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check it out. See, I was like coming here. It's like coffee is a science. So many different flavors and types. Just load it up. Look at Jose, all fancy with their quote-unquote free espresso and my free coffee. There's this new wing that was recently constructed in this mall and it has a London Drugs and I just walked into London Drugs to check out some camera equipment and whatever else and I spotted some Lego. Doesn't look like there's any good deals or anything that's hip-hop happening. I like this uh, Buckbeak though, hey? Look at Buckbeak. That's cool. Also, uh, Sirius Black, the Hogwarts Courtyard Sirius's Rescue. Is that a current set? It must be. Huh. I don't know why I never got that. I like Buckbeak. But I do have a Buckbeak with the uh, Hagrid's Hut, of course. Man, yeah, just never really seen uh, Lego at uh, London Drugs. Here we have it. So I use my phone, my camcorder, or my GoPro. And everybody tells me to buy one of these cameras. Oh, and I just never do because I just think it's a completely different ball game and I've got a lot to learn about this style of camera But I really should because I'm sure it would take some wicked shots in the Lego room So I'm at the Lego store now. There's Rivendell looks like if you spend 90 bucks You're gonna get two free gifts You get the Easter basket and also the Easter chickens I never knew the Lego friends skate park had such good elements in it like look at those ramps the yellow ones and the coral ones that actually looks super good. Maybe I need to get that set just to get those elements and then we could work that into the skate park, add a little bit more color. And those ramp pieces are just like perfect. You can't replicate that with arches or anything. Those things are pretty sweet. That's pretty expensive though. It's 65 bucks, 431 pieces and it comes with a bunch of mini dolls, right? Hey, but it might be worth getting just for those ramps. I'm mainly here to check out pieces on the pad wall these larger curved slopes in green are pretty nice. Got some black plates, some jumpers, the 2x4 in azure, uh, some green corner plates, some 1x4 plates there, some blue bricks, some flowers, more corner plates. Oh, there's some blue plate actually. Might be good for the ocean, but I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff for the ocean and it's on its way. They've got the doors for those large door frames. I can't find the glass for the large door frames. It's one by six by five tall. I cannot find the glass on Bricklink, on Lego, on pab walls. We got some gel pen pieces. Ooh. I call them the gel pen pieces. But yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really that sort of stands out to me here. So, geez, like there's a lot of good pieces, but just nothing that I really need right now. These are pretty nice though. Don't have that size. They got all the UCS stuff. And then up here they've got the new helmets and also the ATT. I sort of want to get another one of these just for all the troopers. I haven't even built mine yet though. It's actually ridiculous. I like this store. It's just so condensed. Everything's displayed really well and has like good frontage. Look at the foosball table beside the Forbidden West tall neck. I never played the game, but I imagine if I played that game, I'd be like fired up on that set. The construction of it looks like crazy. To be honest, nothing really tickling my fancy here today, so we're gonna move on to our next LEGO shopping destination. Before we continue shopping though, I've gotta bring the wife out for a classy lunch here at McDonald's. Welcome to the Chicken Big Mac unboxing. First time I've ever laid eyes on one of these bad boys. A Chicken Big Mac. It's a McChicken Big Mac. Wow, that's legendary. Big Macs were designed for beef. Let's just say that. Of course, right across the street from McDonald's is the Edmonton Brickyard. 
Glad I got the helper here today. She's digging through the light gray bin looking for some one by plate and four by plate or larger. I always check out the minifigures while I'm here. Look at all these Vikings. There's a whole army of Vikings. Also some dinosaurs. Treebeard from the Tower of Warthank. All sorts of CMFs. Some uh, castle ones there as well. Is that Adventure Time? Well, that's crazy. It's pretty interesting. Also uh, some good ones from like the newer CMF line as well. And up here, oh, we got some LOTR stuff and also uh, Star Wars. Always a pretty good selection here. Got to check them out while we're here, right? They always have a good selection of retired sets like this roller coaster, the Helicarrier, the Black Pearl. That's so neat. Also, the detective's office, the corner garage, the Joker's Manor. That thing is so big. Oh my gosh, I should figure out the price on that because it comes with some awesome figures and actually looks amazing. And right beside that is Metal Beard Sea Cow. Also got the London Tower Bridge up on the counter here. The Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown, A-Wing, Avengers Tower, and SpongeBob Round Pants. BB-8, and the Mixer. Stranger Things Upside Down. The original Lego Ideas, DeLorean, and also the Big Bang Theory. I don't know how many sets were used to create this massive corner garage, but that's pretty neat. Look, it's got this little building right there, which is the veterinarian. And then this massive corner garage. Like, that's so cool. This one's not for sale. It's just a mock that's on display. Jose is the master at picking pieces for us. I don't even have to tell her. I'm like, oh, those look good, and she's already got them in her hand. She's the master. It's good. Hopefully we find enough brick in here to uh, just fuel some projects in the LEGO City, like parking lots and roads and everything like that. Check out these 3D printed giant minifigures, and they come apart just like minifigs. There's also all sorts of 3D printed stuff on the shelf back there. It's a great little store as you saw there. They have quite a few awesome sets. A good selection of pieces, but not really the pieces we were looking for. It's looking for dark gray one by brick so I can build a larger parking lot in the Lego City. And we could literally count how many we picked up there. So yeah. unfortunately- the... some, I got like some plate and a good amount of slopes actually and some arches, not for any purpose really it's just good parts to have yeah good stuff to have like yeah. we, we got two cups worth of good parts to have but not the parts exactly that we were looking for yeah so uh, now we're under our next shopping destination which is a lego shopping destination so we're at the lego store in west edmonton mall and it's an absolute circus in here checking out the pad wall looking for more pieces and just there's nothing here unfortunately like there's lots of good stuff once again but nothing we need which sort of sucks so overall, it hasn't been a very successful shopping day, but it's been a very successful day out of the house. So that's always positive. Now that we're back home from shopping, I want to talk a little bit about the Lego City. But first, let's check out all of the pieces that I was able to pack into the two and a half pab cups from the Brickyard. Overall, not too much luck, like a bunch of stuff that's good to have, like arches and plates and dishes and weird panels and door frames and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but definitely worth picking up. I was mainly looking for uh, gray brick or panels so I can expand the parking lot uh, by the diner there. So I was like, oh, maybe we can go to the brickyard and I can pick up all the pieces required to do that. But of course I didn't have any luck with that. So that's sort of unfortunate. I am gonna search for more of those pieces that we require on BrickLink later on in this video. But this is all the stuff that we picked up from the Brickyard today. And then we didn't get anything from the Lego store. But it was definitely worth getting out of the house, enjoying the sunshine, going for a car ride with the wife, eating some uh, McDonald's, you know, and just sort of checking everything out. And also I went to my P.O. box and picked up some parcels. So that was not bad. And I currently have a lot of parcels to unbox. It's nuts. I'm waiting for one more to arrive before I make that unboxing video. So once that arrives, I'm going to unbox everything that we got. And you're going to see that, holy cow, there's lots of new things coming to the LEGO City. And with new things, you know, you need more space. And with new things comes big changes. So yeah, there's going to be some big changes happening to the LEGO City right away which I'm pretty excited about. So the diner's currently right here and I'm thinking of turning it the other way and expanding the parking lot to service the beach area over here. And that's why I needed those dark gray bricks. 
Didn't get enough of them to do that, unfortunately. But I still want to do that just because it's so fast. I can just cover that with a parking lot like really quickly. And that would be a super easy solution to fill that open 48 by 48 base plate and make this area look pretty good. You know, an area in the Lego city that's really getting on my nerves lately is actually the raised platform. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to put up there. And right now I have the Ninjago stuff up there and it's surrounded by water. These Ninjago sets are relatively difficult to place because when they're all together, they consume a lot of space. It's three and a half base plates uh, all together. And the thing is, is they're based on water. So they need to be surrounded by water. And it doesn't really make sense to have water up there. Like that's just not like in the real world at all. Like when would water be above downtown? Never, right? So I've had a really difficult time working these sets into the Lego city. And I think I need to make some substantial changes to the raised platform in this area. I was talking about like foresting this whole area and integrating the farm. But now after reading a bunch of comments, I, I might just be getting rid of the farm for now. Like not destroying it, but putting it underneath the Lego city and doing something new here that involves water. <laughs> I know I just removed water from here. It used to be a canal, but I might bring all of the water-based sets like Ninjago and the Venetian houses down here in a water area or something. I should work it closer to the beach and stuff like that, but there's not really a good way of integrating more water sets over here, in my opinion. So I might be bringing the canal back and sending the farm away. I'm just having a really difficult time finalizing the plan for this area and specifically finalizing the plan for the raised platform. But like I said, I got a bunch of stuff right now that I need to unbox and all of that stuff is gonna be integrated into the city. So I'm having a really hard time right now visualizing how to integrate all of this stuff and also how to take care of the water around the Ninjago buildings and the Venetian houses. Oh my gosh, Lego shopping is not going very well today. My two local sellers either are closed or do not have the dark blue gray brick that I require. By the way, did you see my living room? Yeah, the kids are taking over. We got them this massive fenced off area because they're almost on the move. Actually, you know what? This morning I put Millie right here and take a look at this photo. This is where she ended up. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, somehow she ended up way over there and unzipped that little opening. That is insane. That only opens from the outside. Yeah, it only opens from the outside. How did you do that? How did you do that? Huh? She's like, I don't know. She's a smart mm. cookie. She's a smart cookie, yeah. There you go. But look at this. They took over. <laughs> All right. You know what, everybody? We're going to do it. We're going to try it. It's not going to take long to try it out. I'm gonna move the farm out of the city and we're gonna move the Ninjago buildings and see what they look like down there. Oh yeah, some people were telling me to put the burrow by the farm. That's actually a good idea too. I also have this gas station. I've been meaning to uh, redo this gas station. This is like a really old mock of mine and I've been meaning to rebuild it as a corner building like that. So what I would do is actually put I'd have it like triangular shaped. I'd put the front glass and the doors on hinges. So it's like at an angle and then vehicles can pull up and out and get gas. I eventually want to do that too. So that's another 32 by 32 base plate. I've got to allocate somewhere in the city, but let's remove this farm. Thankfully, when I built it, I built it on two 48 by 48 plates that are separate from each other. So it's sort of modularized and can be split in two and moved very easily. So the issue with the Ninjago buildings is honestly, they just don't really blend together with anything in the Lego city. Like they don't look good with the other modular buildings in my opinion, and they definitely don't look good with the Venetian houses. So if this is the canal, what am I gonna put the Venetian houses with Ninjago? That's just not gonna like look good at all. Oh my gosh, I am like struggling with the design right now just for this area and up top there, like, what do I do? Man, I really don't know. Like maybe I should just continue modular buildings around here and be done with it. Or maybe I should create some sort of custom big hill that leads up to the platform over there, rather than just having 
bang, a platform, maybe there should be a road that leads up to the platform and better integrate the platform in the Lego city. I, I really don't know what to do. Like, I am just struggling. I know this is the second day in a row of uploads where I've been talking about this area. I'm just like so happy with the way that everything looks over here, right? And I just really can't visualize what I'm going to do with this bloody raised platform. Why do I have the raised platform? That's so the trains can go underneath it. That's why it's raised, right? Ultimately, I could just get rid of the raised platform, right? I, I could do that. Technically, I could get rid of it. And then pretty much my problem would be solved. There'd be no raised platform. But I think it adds nice elevation to the city, and it's really cool having these big buildings, the Ninjago ones specifically, raised up off the ground. But they have that water base. It doesn't really make sense. But what I would do if I cleared the race platform is probably landscape the entire top of the platform. So put like mountains and this style of stuff on the race platform. That would look really cool. If this was all mountainous landscape stuff, I think that would look cool. Like I would just be excited about that and add like almost a backdrop to the city <laughs> that would be so awesome that's a lot of pieces and a huge project but i'm not scared of taking on huge projects you know like it's it doesn't scare me this is a huge project in itself but i don't even know if i want to move these things down here because they're just not gonna flow right it's just not gonna flow right with the other modulars ultimately i should just continue modulars and have this all modular buildings like, that would be the ultimate solution. No farm, nothing. Like, that's that's what it should be. Like, I don't even know if I want to stretch up there and haul them down because they look good from afar up there. The water makes zero sense, though. So I, I don't know what to do. Oh, my gosh. I'm like a broken record. Ooh, that's why I wanted to go shopping today so I could be, get the brick. And as you saw, that miserably failed because I am going to be putting the parking lot here just to fill it for now and there's lots of different food trucks and vendors and awesome looking vehicles and bike racks and scooter uh setups and stuff like that that can go like on the sides here and fill this area so it's more than just a parking lot it's a place where people come they park their car and they can you know go enjoy the activities at the beach <sighs> but what do i do i mean maybe i can take this and make it its corner and I can put it over here and just fill this with modular buildings. That's definitely what I could do. But then what do I do with Ninjago? Maybe it's just got to stay up there and then I've got to slide it all over, get rid of those facades and make that work. And then I can do half of this with mountains and stuff like I was talking about before and still have Ninjago up there, even though it makes zero sense. And then just continue my downtown style buildings here, like the plan was originally, but it was in a canal. <sighs> I came down here with full intentions of moving this stuff, and now I'm just rambling on, not knowing what to do once again. Hilarious. I think the issue is, is there's like no right or wrong answer. No matter what I do, I think it'll look good in the end. If the farm was there with the trees in the forest, it would look fine. Maybe I should just run with that, just stick with my original plan, put the water up there and some mountains and the observatory and have the farm down here all forested off and maybe build some sort of farmhouse or integrate or like... Uh, work in the Weasley's house here with the farm. Maybe that's what I should do, right? It's day two of me thinking about this and I still don't have an answer. Even after reading everybody's comments, I still don't have an answer because there's so many different things that could be done and there's no right or wrong way of doing it because it's Lego and everything is very creative and everything has, you know, a different, everyone and everything has, is like a different vision or a different execution of that vision. So I don't think... There's a right or wrong way of doing it. And that's what's so cool about Lego, right? Is there's just unlimited ways that different sets and different pieces that can be put together to create awesome stuff. And that's what's so awesome about it. You can change the city a million times like I do and have fun while you're doing it. But sometimes I talk about builder's block. I'm more so having like Lego city block. Like I don't know what to do with those areas. I have the parts to do it. I have the buildings to do it. I have, you know, the capacity of doing it, but I don't know exactly what to do. And it's the raised platform that's really blocking me right now. Well, I don't know. I think now that my parcels have all arrived, I'm gonna move on to unboxing that stuff. 
because that's going to add even more stuff to the equation. And this video is too long for me to add that onto this video. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you so much for coming on by. I did not move Ninjago like I planned and move the farm. Well, I did move the farm, <laughs> but it is what it is. Now this is just hysterical in my opinion. Day two of this confusion. I'm sorry about that. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>